You're listening to the Andre Segovia Show. Welcome to the program, everyone. I'm Andres, and on this episode of the program, I need to talk about the initiative to repeal the death tax. The death tax. What is it? Well, for that, I got to rewind the clock back a few years because remember Proposition 19? I felt I was the only one talking about Proposition 19 because for the 2020 election, I was covering, I think it was about three different propositions that were going to affect real estate, your property, your home ownership in the state of California. Proposition 19 seemed to be the least offensive of the propositions. The other ones were about removing Proposition 13, which is something that helps you with your real estate property taxes year after year. The other one uh, was installing rent control, which was the big one. So Proposition 19 sounded like it was the least offensive and it was the one we should probably support, especially since it was being marketed as something that was that had the support of the Howard Jervis Taxpayers Association, in which it didn't. It was billed as the ability to be able to transfer your property tax bill from one property to another, uh, catered mostly or at least spoken about to the seniors that have have, been, have not been able to move because of the housing affordability issue, but mostly for those that have been the victims of wildfires where their houses were destroyed. So it was supposed to allow that tax bill, the property that's already gone, to be able to transfer to somewhere else. And what that means is if you've owned your property for a few decades, that tax bill is way cheaper than the one that you would pay for a property assessed at current market value. Now, that sounded great on paper uh, because on top of that, there were also it was also going to establish some kind of fire committee and response to battle wildfires and fund um, fire prevention programs. It, that should have been the red herring in all this, but uh, that's what uh, was being marketed. What you were not told, as I was covering on my program, was that we first off we didn't need more bureaucracy, but secondly, the ability to transfer your property tax bill from one property to a new property already existed with participating counties. The grievance was that well, the ca- the county that I wanted to move to next door isn't part of that program. So I have to move a little further away. That was always the grievance that some individuals had that wanted to flex that, um, that option. But ultimately this folks that you did not know in order to have the ability to move your tax bill from County to County now throughout the state, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they didn't participate before proposition 19 was going to allow them to participate, uh, throughout the entire state. But they had to eliminate the ability for you to transfer your property tax free to your child or your grandchild. And now any parent wanting to transfer to their child or grandchild, the property has to be reassessed at market value. So that's what Proposition 19 was, and it's labeled the death tax. And we want to repeal it. Uh, And I have here in my hands the PDF copy of the Repeal of Death Tax Initiative. It's a PDF form. It's about five pages long, but that's not what you're signing. You're only signing one page. The rest of it is information. And I'm saying this because the link to this petition will be available on the show notes accompany this episode at www.thenewsagorba.com. So wherever you're watching or listening to this audio version of the podcast, by all means, go to the show notes, find the link there if you're here in California, get this thing signed, print enough for your family members that are registered to vote to sign. And if they're not registered to vote, have them register to vote so they can fill out this so we can repeal the death tax. So I'm going to read to you one of the pages from this uh, PDF form, which is basically explaining why you should sign the petition to repeal the death tax. So here are the five bullet points that you need to know. California had passed a death tax on property that would rob your family of the generational wealth that you have worked so hard to build for them. Yes, I already established that. Parents should be able to transfer their home and limited other property to their children without triggering reassessment and a huge tax increase. Mm -hmm. Voters were tricked into removing that protection from state law when they passed Proposition 19 in November 2020. Yep. The repeal of death tax initiative will restore this important taxpayer protection for California families. Families benefit 
because the death of a parent won't trigger an unaffordable tax hike. Renters benefit because the measure stops sudden reassessment of family-owned apartment buildings, which could lead to higher rents or evictions if the landlord passes away. So what is the initiative exactly? We're calling it repeal the death tax, but uh, this is what it actually means in the petition about the initiative. The repeal the death tax act will restore the constitutional rights that were lost in 2020 when Proposition 19 narrowly passed. The rights for parents to transfer their home and limited other property to their children without triggering reassessment to market value and an unaffordable tax increase. This measure will not affect the other parts of Proposition 19. It simply restores the rights that Californians had for decades and then lost. The Repeal the Death Tax Act will also enable anyone whose property was reassessed due to a parent-child transfer to have their former base year value under Proposition 13 restored to their property again. But first, we need a million signatures to get it on the ballot. And we want to see this on the ballot for November. When I keep saying we, who's we? Concerned resident, the property owner, and the renter. Because it affects us all, folks. It has affected us all. Proposition 19 went into effect April, I believe, 2021, but it was retroactive to February preceding it. So immediately you had to deal with the tax consequences of Proposition 19. So the initiative here is trying to undo the damage done by Proposition 19 while also keeping some of the positives of it, which is being able to transfer your tax bill. Proposition 19 gave the ability to transfer the tax bill, as I mentioned before, even those that didn't have a participation in the program before, uh, those counties now, right now, as it is, are you able to transfer your tax bill to another county uh, and not be reassessed. But you can do that up to three times in a lifetime. That's something that wasn't uh, available before. So it's fixing that. Now, there's a little caveat about the whole transfer tax that Proposition 19 uh, was mentioning because there's still an upward adjustment. So just letting you know that all of that is still uh, in it. It's a complicated thing. And I recommend you, ta you talk to your tax attorney, but you have a living trust and all that. Believe me, all of that, if you haven't reviewed it in the past three years, you'll be surprised to know that Proposition 19 basically undid the purpose for your living trust in the first place. But anyway, this petition, I'm encouraging all of you that are in California to get it now. It's available from the Howard Jervis Taxpayers Association, and it's also linked to the show notes accompany this episode, as I already mentioned, www.digitalsegover.com. I blasted this across all of my socials to anyone that was following me there. So if you missed it, I will be reposting this again, where you'll find it with the show notes, of course, and I'll be posting that to my socials. But the encouragement is that you get this out there. You're able to print this at home, to be able to sign it and return it so we can get this on the ballot for November 2024 and encourage everybody to vote yes on repeal the death tax act when this thing is approved for the ballot so one thing to keep in mind just because you signed a petition doesn't mean you shouldn't vote should it appear in the ballot initiative next year you have to sign the petition so we can get the opportunity to vote on it that's how it works folks because otherwise we're just going to be living under the continued tax consequences of Proposition 19 and the loss of all that generational wealth that you lived and worked so hard to gain and that your children and your grandchildren will never, ever see. I recommend you also tune into the episode of my rebuttal to the Justice for Renters Act because that one will also be appearing in November 2024. That one is already approved. They've got their signatures actually pretty quick, and it's appearing on the ballot November 2024, hopefully alongside the Repeal the Death Tax Act, whereas you're going to vote yes on Repeal the Death Tax Act. You will be voting no on the Justice for Renters Act. Tune into the episode where I give a rebuttal as to why it is not what it says it is. Thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode of The Andres Agovia Show. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and stay in the know. Make sure you hit the notification bell on the video platforms, on the social media platforms, so you never miss a notification when I put one out there. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.